Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to build file upload plugin with JavaScript. And the file upload plugin is a plugin that are going to be used to send file to undo file submission to the server. And you'll be able to send it along with forms along with this form submission. Right, let's just test it out. I'm going to choose some files here. Um, let me just choose this one. Okay, so there are some stuff going on in my console. All right, so say file. Type is not allowed. Allowed file types are this type is not allowed. The PDF type, uh, type is not was not allowed. I didn't allow it in the plugin. All right, then let me try to add one more file. Let me try to add three more files. All right, you can only you, you are you are only allowed to upload five files. See and. Let me just remove and you can also remove and add more you can add more files let me check if i allowed music file okay i allowed audio audio, audio files you can you can upload any file okay so you can add file remove file and let me just test one one stuff good Please upload up to three files. Okay, let me add more files. Um, let me just add this file. You are only allowed to upload five files. Okay, now let's upload it. Okay, all right. It was uploaded. It was uploaded, and the 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 field was cleared. Right, let's just let's just go check our um, project file, project folder. This is the project folder, and this is the uploads folder. This is where the all the files came. The music file, you can see. This is the music file. This is the yeah, these are the pictures. These are the pictures, and this is the music file. Everything came back from the database. If you want to check, let's check it so that you, you won't think maybe I did maybe a trick. Right, so this was the request, and this was the response I get. I got back from the uh, database from the server. This is the JX, JSON request with the names and the type, the type of the files. All right, this is what we are going to be doing in this tutorial. Let's go. Okay, so I've set it up already. I use Bootstrap starter templates. And this is where we are going to be showing our previewing the pictures that we are uploading. And this is where we are going to be showing the picture that we've uploaded. The files, sorry for sorry about that. The files that we've uploaded, this is where we are going to be displaying them. And the file that we are going to upload, this is where the files that we selected, this is where we are going to be showing them. And I just did, I just did um, this one. Just, just a dummy stuff. So it's not, it's not working. It's just like a template. All right. So let's go to the code. Okay. This is the start, uh, Bootstrap starter template, and don't worry about this. Uh, the file, the file is going to be available in the link, in the description of this. The link to the, the to the lesson files is going to be available in the description of this tutorial. All right, so this is the nav bar. Just ignore this place to this place. It's just a starter thing. It's just the templates. All right, that's the nav bar that came with it. And um, all right, let me remove this one. Okay, so and this is the jQuery because um, we need jQuery and this is the script, the JavaScript that we're going to be using. As you can see, as of now, it is empty. As of now. 
and this is the PHP the PHP file that we are going to be using to handle our file upload and as I've set it up this is the form that we are going to be using to to send it so all these ones are they are useless okay so all right this is the template that is showing in the front end here that's showing here all right so and this is my notes this is my notes we are going to get it in a in a moment all right so let's start okay so first of all this this is the file input inputs this is the file input here okay so i'm going to get this file input so first of all let's initialize jquery okay so let me make it to to show um let me move this display display now and just show it in the front end okay so this is the this is the button to upload the file all right so i'm going to write it that if i click this choose file this container here if i click this container here so it's going to click this one it's going to click the the inputs the input button the file input button so all right um let me just go back and grab the class name dots um okay let me just do this it's not compulsory but I should so that it it will not cause the form to, to submit, but it's not going to do that. I'm going to do that. Okay, so when the container is clicked, so I want it. I want this the input file to be clicked. So I want the input file to be then yeah, the input button to also to be clicked. So the input button. Okay, now let's test that. Um, okay, let's bring up our console. Control Shift K. If we have any help, oh. choose file maybe. Okay, this is an ID. Okay, that's an ID. So, okay. All right, let's load the page again. And let's bring this up. Let's bring down that. Okay, now I'm going to click it. All right, so it's going to click down one automatically. Okay, so that has worked. All right, so next thing is let me just go back and hide. And hide the the input button because we don't need it. Oh, sorry. All right, so that has been hidden now. So I want to hide it. All right, so if I click this, it's going to click the input the input button also. Now, now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to list in for the unchange event of the input of the imp of the file input button of the file input element on change events if after choosing file after choosing a file so immediately you choose a file the on the unchange the unchange event is going to fire so 
we are going to list in for that so after it has it has fired then we cannot get the target here then let me just log it e dot target okay not to waste much of our time So I'm going to check if there's any file. If there's any file in the if there's any file in the input field dot files. So if there's any files in the input field, just log it. Dot log log it. All right, so let's bring up our console. Let's refresh the page and choose. All right, so this is the four dots. Let's just go back here. So, hey, this is the file, the project folder of this lesson, the lesson folder. So, this is where this is the um, files that have provided that we are going to be using in this um, tutorial so there's pdf file there there's zip file there and there is image file there and music and a music file all right so that's and that is where we're going to be choosing the files from okay so let me just choose one one file all right so this is it i can see that's that's logged it here script.js Line 10. All right, so it has worked. So the next thing we are going to do is because the files, if I try to choose two files, I'll come. Then is there multiple? Okay, there's there's the multiple attributes. The multiple attributes is there, so I can choose more than one file. So let me try to choose more than one file. Okay, all right. So I can see it is four files that is there. So for us to for us to work on the four files, we will have to loop through the four files and work on each of them. All right. So let's look through them with the for loop for i then um okay I don't like doing this but let me just write, write it like that. Dot files. I can make this const raw files. Raw files. That's okay. Raw files. So that's the raw files that was selected. So that's the whole files that was selected okay so now this one is going to be a raw file that is a file so we've gotten the file now now let's log it again for you to see it raw file i'm going to be doing it step by step so i'm going to i'm going to get everything All right, so I can see it has look to each of them. Oh, they are getting okay, 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 okay. I logged the wrong, the wrong stuff. Okay, now let's choose the file again. Okay, I can see each of them. This is each of the files. The file, the the name of the file, the last modify last modified web kits relative url then the size then the type of the file the type of the file the the zip file that i choose this is the file application or x zip compressed then the rest are image or jpeg yeah image image files okay so since that is that 
then we cannot work on each of them now before we proceed we need a variable like a bucket that we are going to be saving the files all the files that we that we've chosen we need a variable like a bucket that we are going to be saving them all right so let me just come here come up here and create a file i will call it temp temporary file buckets so it's going to be so it's going to be an object okay so the next thing is after choosing the file we want to show it here all right so um for the style for the styling of this of this stuff i've written the styling here already in the css this is the style that came with the bootstrap starter templates and this is the style i created myself for that css so this this is the remove button style and this is the container the container style and the choose file button the choose file this choose file button element so this is the style all right so let me just close that up and okay so the next thing is let me just grab this because this is like the templates that we're going to be working that we're going to be using and i can comment it out and come here so we are going to be using dome to create the files to create the files and displaying them here the files that we uploaded we use dome to create them to create it so bar files file container post document I assume you you know how to handle to do dome dome manipulation. If you don't know how to do that, you can find a lot of resources on YouTube that will help you on that. Okay, then file container dot file container dot inner HTML file container dot inner HTML is going to be this oh okay so so define container so we need to give it the class name file container dot class name so it's going to be this so this define content this is the class name and we need to give it an ID we are going to know the reason why we are going to get we are giving it an id soon go to all right let me, let me just skip that for now okay so i can safely remove it because this this is what i'm creating this is the container this is the div element that i'm creating that i'm using to, to create Okay, so now what you need to save in the ID is we need to save the let me create a I'm going to create an ID with the name of the file file ID. So that's going to be raw. Raw file dot name dot replace. I'm going to replace all the any dots there. So the dots um, before the extension or any other dot that is in the that is in the name. So I'm going to use replace all instead. Replace with nothing dots replace i'm going to replace another thing and um, 
what am I going to replace? Okay, let me replace this if that is present with this. Okay, so that's the file ID. So, so you, will, you understand the reason why I'm giving the file ID just in a moment. Okay, after creating the file container that is going to that is going to be displaying our uh, the file that we chose. All right, so I'm going to do another testing. I'm going to do a testing here now that if the MIME type of the file because I may upload another file that is not an image, so it's not going to. I don't want to use the image tag for it. So, um, the SRC of the image is going to be. So the SRC of the image is going to be raw file. No, it's going to be the raw file. It's going to be the raw file. The raw file here is going to be that is going to be it. Okay. So, um, all right, I'm going to be um, 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 um. I made a mistake here. I made a mistake here. I made a mistake. So, we need file reader. We need JavaScript file reader to be able to read the file, to be able to read the file and convert it to blob. So, var file reader. Let me just give it this name. Equal to new file reader. File reader dot onload. That's going to be a function. Function function P. All right, so we can now I'm not going to put everything here. All right, so this E, so the file is going to be so the E is going to have a target. The E is an event. Let me write it in full. So that is not going to be confusing. So the E is an event. Event dot targets. So the event dot target dot of results here. Yeah. If I if I'm not if I if I haven't forgotten, yeah. Event dot target dot result. So that's that's where the blob file is so that's where the blob file is so we can we can check the events out we can we can log it and see how it looks like all right so we're going to see that in a moment okay so having done that there's one more thing we are going to be we are going to be doing is file reader dot read as data URL then we're going to pass in the the blob that's going to be the raw file um yeah that's going to be the raw file yeah so that's going to be the raw file so it's going to convert this we're going to convert it to to blob. So we're going to convert it to blob, and it's going to be in this function. It's going to be available in this onload function. Okay. So after creating it, we need to append it to the parent to this element here. To append it to, to the container to the to the upload container to the preview container let me just name it like that 
Okay, so dot append take away we append. That's then file container. Not from that one. Okay, I think we cannot take that out. All right, the file is gone because I commented I commented it out, and let's just choose four files. And one more thing I omitted that I'm going to do in a moment. I can see it has worked. It has worked successfully. Okay, so let's see what's happening under the hood. So the stuff I logged here, line 18, the events I logged on line 18 is, let's see it. So I can see the explicit, explicit original target. You can get it from the explicit original target key, the original target key. And one I like, and is generally used is targets get it from the targets dot results so that that's that's the stuff it's not it's not a magic okay and the 15 stuff this is the file okay we've seen this before now another stuff i'm going to address is since all the files all the files that we are uploading that are going to be choosing is not only Image files, so I'm going to check test for it that the raw file, if raw file dot type, if the raw file dot type dot split dot split the first the first one. I just, I'm checking for image. If it is an image type, the, the type, the MIME type is going to be image or whatever. Image or whatever. So I'm going to split it by the four slash and I'm going to get the first image, the first, the first item that's going to be in an array. This is going to split it into an array. All right. If it is equal to image, uh, this yeah it is an image the file is an image else now we can now do another stuff here that's this file container dot in html we can remove this and just change it to um i'm going to sorry i'm going to be using bootstrap stuff here that's like bg secondary bg secondary bg secondary bg secondary and we're going to be showing the file just just the type I'm going to be displaying the type, the file type. Okay, so this should work fine now. Let's let's load it and view it. Okay. Okay. All right. So as you can see, it is application no zip. Application. This is the zip file and this is the PDF, and the other are images. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so the bootstrap stuff, if you know how to use bootstrap, you see that this is a row. This um I'm using flex flex box. So and this is a column. This is a column of column two. So it's column two. All right then the image container. Okay, and let me do one stuff. Padding, padding top. Let me use five padding top and padding bottom five. So I'm just going to look a little bit cool. Okay. So 
Oke. Okay. Um, nonsense. I should give it all around our party. Just all around our party. What the size I'm going to be. Should I wrap this into um not to waste much of our time? We can just since we are not doing styling stuff here. So you can style it on your home. You can style it on your home. So at least we've achieved what we want. Now the next thing is all these buttons, they are not just a dummy button. They are not just a dummy button. They should do something. So what they are going to be doing is they are, they are going to be removing a file. I want to know how the uh, function is going to go. Just a moment. And one more stuff is we've not yet used um, fuel our temporary file bucket. So after appending, we've known now we know that it is it has successfully appended. Now we want to save it inside the file bucket and we are going to be using the ID, the file ID to save it in, in the temporary bucket. So we are going to be saving, we are not going to be saving this file because this is just a blob file, just blob, just a blob file. So we can we can even log it out. Log file to see it. Alright, so we are going to see that moment. So this is what we are going to be saving. This is raw file. The raw file is what we are going to be saving. And that's what is going to be cool. Okay, so now we've saved it here. And the next thing we are going to do is let me see here. Okay, the button. So the button, we are going to be creating a function for it. That's going to be listening. The function is going to be listening for the clicking of the the clicking of of the um, button. All right, so that's going to be const const delete. Let's just call it delete file. Let me write this from buckets. I'm just going to name it that. I'm just going to name it that. Just pardon me to name it that. Equal to using. I'm going to using ES6 here. Okay. So. Um. No. 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 It's not going to work. Because I'm going to be using this. Um, no, I'm not using this. I'm not using this. I can use it. I can use it. So, I'm going to list in for this remote button. So, I'm going to use jQuery. So, that's fine. Any button, any element with the RMBTN class, whenever it is clicked, whenever it is clicked, I want to do something. Let me just call this stop propagation of sorry, stop propagation. Alright, so the propagation will not happen, but let's just put it there just for in case of in case it's mistakenly happen. Okay, so I'm going to be getting this now. We can use this here. This dot okay, let's say if our parents is okay, the file ID. 
the file ID. I'm going to be getting the file ID. You will, you will know the reason why I'm getting the file ID in a moment. This dot parent parent element dot ID. So you now understand the reason why we put the I, the file ID here. All right. So the so next thing is after getting the ID, let's move it from the from our bucket. So let me just grab this to save myself typing. So we are going to be using JavaScript deletes to delete the key to delete it from the template bucket. So after it has been deleted, so I want to remove it. So I want to remove the the elements. I want to remove the elements. This dot parent element dot remove remove All right. So let's just log something because I want to show you something. So now it's going to be listening for after after it has been appended to the container to the preview container. So I want to listen for the move button. Okay, so let's go to the front end and check it out. Bring up our console and Upload the file, put some files there. Okay, so this is the blob. This is the blob. I can see this is the blob. So this is how if you don't know how blob looks like, this these are blobs looks like. They are a very, very long text. So they are the one behind they are the they are the pictures, the images, the videos that you see, the video files that you see, the image files that you see. They are the one. They are these are all the my browser won't wanted to break now. I'm just gonna wait for it. Okay, so I can see it is a very long text. Very very long text. I hope my browser is not going to break. Very very long text. Very very long text. It's going to be up to like one hundred thousand text. I don't know. Or it should be up to okay. Ah, so let's really close this. Okay, so now what I'm going to be testing it. I want to test the remove button now. All right, so see, hey, I was clicked. It was done three times. Why? Let me move it again. So I can see it's removed. It worked. It worked. It's removed. So this one too was done seven times. Okay, it, it, uh, it has added like four times to it again. So let me move another one. That's seven, two, that's added two times to it again. So to prevent that from happening, it means it is executing this function like three to four times for a particular click. So to do that, I'm going to I'm going to change this. That's going to be var remove buttons. That's going to be document dot get elements by class name. So, so I'm going to get it in a for loop. Remove buttons. Let me just call it pretend. And okay, so this is going to go inside the for loop. Now, I'm going to check for something. Or first of all, 
and I should be seeing a button um you should call it remove button remove button remove button remove button dot class list dot add remove events added so this is what we are going to be checking for if the event is already added so it will not add it again it will not add it again so i are going to check it if remove btn dot class list dot dot class list dot contains it contains this remove event added then just continue skip it don't add the event to it again now if not just add event list now so i can use the query to also paste this one here yeah so it should work now All right. Should work well. Now. I can see it is only once. It was done only once. If I click it again, it will be done only once. I can see it is only once. All right. So that is soft. Let me move on. So I can see it is done. It was done only once. Okay. So. We've done that and we solved that. And what is the next thing? The next thing is to submit it. Now we are going to be doing the uploading now. After this, let's submit it. All right. So we are going to be listing for if this if the form is submitted id i think it's an id, it's an ID. okay all right so if it is if it has been submitted dot submit So if it has been submitted, so e dot event default, this will surely the reloading will surely happen. So to prevent the, the reloading of the page, so I added e dot event default. All right. So the next thing is now, how do we send the file along with form along with the form to the to the server to be uploaded in the server? All right. So I'm going to be using form data form data what's the name javascript form data so i'm passing in this so that's the, the form the form element is the one that the, this keyword is referring to here okay so what are we doing next is i'm going to be looping through our bucket, our file bucket, our temporary file bucket. So it's still available anywhere. It's available anywhere in the script. All right. So I'm going to be looping through it. I'm going to be looping through the file, the temporary file bucket here. How do we look through it? We're going to be using the for of. No, 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 no. Um. We are going to be using the for for in sorry i'm going to be using the for in then that's tmp tmp file five buckets okay so five all right so what are we doing next we are going to be appending 
the we are going to be appending the file to form data. Oh, 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 oops, oops. All right. So because and now because we are going to be uploading multiple files in PHP, you know, in HTML to upload multiple files, you need to add this. I don't know for other other uh, languages for backend, but for PHP, you need to add the array the array symbol in front of the the, um, the input file name. So you need to add it. All right. So and what are we appending the file? All right. So that's what we are going to be appending. So we've appended it to the form data. And let me just remove the console, all this console log here, and the the blob, the dangerous blob console log. All right, let me just remove that. Okay, so let's let's come back here, and okay, so let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, so now is we are going to be using jQuery Ajax to send it to the database URL. What's the URL? We are sending it to this upload and ladder PHP that is on the same is on the same uh, directory with the, with our index.html. So that's upload. What am I doing? Okay, upload and la dot php. Upload and la dot php. Then, what? What are we sending? The form data. The form data. Then, which method are we using? Method. Then that's what we are going to be using. And don't let us forget because we are sending form, we are sending files. So we need to set these two important keys to false and process data and the contents type. Okay. So when it is done. When it is done sending, it's going to return a response. So then we can get the response. The response is going to be a JSON in JSON format. So we can do that by data go to JSON dot pass. Pass response all right now so let's assume it has been sent and it has come back to and the data and we've received the data what we are going to be doing is we are going to be Looping through because this this is our upload directory. This is the directory that we're going to be uploading the files, and we are going to be looping through the file, the directory with PHP. We are going to be getting every all the files that we uploaded, that we've uploaded, that we just upload and that we've uploaded. We will get everything and return them, and we are going to be displaying them in the front end. So, how do we do that? So that is let's come back here. I've made a template here to a template um, element here. Alright, so I'll just go on and copy that. And I should I should do one thing. The what we are going to be doing is similar to this. Very, very similar. Just similar. So 
shift tab okay so the file container then the file id i don't need the, i don't need id for that then if data i'm going to be turning an object if data dot type is an image just speaks is an image do this else do this so it's going to be data data dot data dot um okay um is a hell yeah i need to do something because i'm going to be returning an array so we need to look through the data and let's call this the i'm going to be returning an array so i should call that the file okay let me move this into the folder inside the folder okay so 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 and now file the type is the file dot type and this one is going to be file dot name uploads or file dot name and this one is just going to be you will understand this just in a moment file dot type I apologize for this okay so we're going to append it and just grab the, the, the class name is different from the previous one all right that has been done and um, one more stuff remove this okay now let's go to our php now let's assume it has been sent it has been sent to the PHP. Now let's just echo. Let's just do. Pardon. The file. Oh, last line underscore. The files we are getting. Let's echo it so that you are going to see. Now let's load the page. We've done lots of things. And you can use this for any file you can use it to upload any type of file right this is where we're going to be using to track our database our server request our api request all right so if i upload, if i click the upload button all right so it has sent to the it has sent request to the upload handler.page page and we can check it should not come here never never it's going to break the browser all right so response all right so this these are our file these are our files i can see all the files was sent everything was sent everything was sent uh like as if we sent the file okay this is the file chooser this is the file the <coughs> sorry for that the file input element <coughs> so and this is our file this is our file so if you want to prevent this from submitting along with the request just remove the name yeah just remove the name we don't need it since we've been we we are manipulating it with javascript so we don't need it all right so this this is this this is the file. This is our file here that we sent. This is it. This is everything here. It was sent like file. I can see it was sent the same way as the the normal input file was sent. So that's the same way our file that we man, that we manipulated was sent. All right. Having achieved this, so let's let's just move on. All right since this is just a tutorial we are not doing any anything this um, in this server side file except 
to undo the, the file upload. So I'm going to be doing this directly without checking for any other any other request. So we know that it is the file request that is that, that we're going to be doing with this file. So I'm gonna sign um, let's call it um, file uploaded and bad at naming variables dollar sign underscore files what is the name what is the name file let's just call it files files okay so since the files the file that is going to be sent all the files that is going to be sent is not only one file it is going to be is a multiple file so we can so we are going to get it and undo it in a for loop and let's let's go on for i was one i is less than counts counts the name the the name key we are counting the name keys so the name keys of all the files that we uploaded that we are counting everything and that's what we are going to be using to look through it now the first thing is file name that is plus sign plus sign file uploaded file uploaded name the name the name key then the index okay so the next thing is the temp the temp name this is very very compulsory temp name um it is file uploaded then t tmp name then the index and index so that is that and next thing we are going to be doing is i want to, i would like to split the file name the file name and the file and the extension you get the reason why i'm splitting it in a moment file name that splits oh, okay file name that's going to be exclude i'm going to split it with php exclude how am i splitting it i'm splitting it on the dot then what am i splitting the file name okay so we split it now i want to give it a unique name because i may i may no i'm not it's not i may i'm going to be uploading the same file twice so for it not to be over overwriting the the one the previous the previous one that is there or or just it is going to be appending copy like um file one copy file two copy so to prevent that i'm going to give it a unique name unique name which i'm going to generate a unique id the php unique id is going to append a unique id at the back of the of the file name speech file name so this is an array i'm going to get the first item in the array then if you want more entropy you can pass through here but that's not needed it's not is very unnecessary in this 
Gloria. All right. So dots. I'm going to append the extension to it. So the extension is going to be the last item in the array. Split file name. Split file name. Split file name. All right. So having done that, let's move the uploaded file. Move uploaded file. And first of all, the temp name. CMP name, then we omitted something. I omitted something. The upload location. Let me just call it this. That's going to be upload, upload because the folder is on the same directory. Upload dot unique name. Okay, so I'm just going to do this here, uh, the upload location. Yeah, it has successfully uploaded. Okay, after it has everything has successfully uploaded, I want to do some. I want to loop through the upload folder and get every, every files there, get every files there, except the directories, the directories, and the back directory that is going to be, and um, okay, just ignore that, ignore that. So it's going to fetch all the files, the file, all, all the file names that is in the directory. So I'm going to get everything. All right, so I'm going to create an array here. That's going to be files array. Let me just call this files array. All right, so how am I going to do it? I'm going to use PHP for each for each scanner. I'm going to be scanning the DAO. Where am I scanning? Upload folder. Upload folder. Then as DAO. Uh, file okay we don't need the value here okay so the DAO file the DAO file the scanner is going to return everything including the including any directory and, and back directory that is the back directory symbol that is there so um, we don't need that those ones are going to appear this uh, something like this and Something like this and something like this. The dot and the dot dot. Don't need that. So I'm going to be checking for it. If is that is that da file? What continue? Just continue. Skip it. Now, having done that, so we need to do something. Va file oh, file handler. Let me call this file. Oh. What can I call this file? Da. Okay, the file da. So the file da is going to be an array, and inside the array. The first thing is uh, is going to be an associative array. So the first thing that is going to be in the array is um, the name, the name of the the name of the file. So that's going to be that file. The that file is going to be holding only the names of the file of the files that is there. Okay. Then what else? The MIME type. The MIME type. I think you've gotten the reason why we are we are we are getting the MIME types too. We are using it here. 
mime type is going to be php mime content type and what are we testing for uploads or dar file Oop. let's do this all right since we've gotten the mime type and i'm going to create a key here the key is going to be type I hope you understand PHP associative array. Okay, so what next? We are going to append the file down. Let me just give this one. Okay, simply. We are going to be appending array push. So array push. There's no array append. We are going to be appending. The file to the to the file array. All right. After that, we need to do one more thing. That that's the last thing. That's we need to return a JSON quest API. And that's that's we can do that with JSON and code. That's going to be uh, saving it inside data. And uh, return it as an object, as an associative array. That's an object. So what are we sending? Are sending the file array? Are sending the file array? All right, so we've done this. Now we need to go back here and correct one more stop. This is the data and dot data. Because the data is going to be present in this JSON that was analyzed here. So that's it. Data dot data here so that's that's the stuff here now let's go on and check it out and before that let's go back to our to the project to the lesson to the lesson folder and check our close folder you can see the folder is currently empty and just go out and come back to the directory and let's bring up our console Reload again. All right, this is how the request. All right, let's click the choose file button and let's upload six items. All right, so then we can do upload. You can see everything was very, very fast. And this, this stuff, this is the remove button. The remove button but i forgot to remove it all right everything came back i just ignored this this is the it's just it's just requesting the the stuff is requesting it with ajax the background all right um okay i'm looking for the stuff <laughs> so i can see this is what was returned back from the this is what was returned as a json I can see it is type JSON. That's the one. Right, we are going to view it this way. So the name, the type, the name, the type, the name, the type. This is application or PDF. All right. Okay. So that's that. All right. We are done. Yeah, we are done. I can see this is the post request that was sent. Right, let me just correct one more stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go back and let's come. Let's go check the uploads folder. I can see these are all the files. Yeah. And if you notice something, there's uh there's a car there's 
there are some characters that was appended to the back of the of the name of the files so that's the unique id that was added by php so in case if i uploaded another file it will not do c plus plus copy c suits copy so it just creates that there and to not overwrite it okay so this is not clearing this is not after um pressing the clicking the upload button we need to make this to disappear i'm going to do that in a moment and i'm going to remove this here the that button is looking odd okay so if you are going to be asking me that okay now where is the where is the upload plugin is this the upload plugin that you told us that we're going to learn in this, in this tutorial yes no and no now we are going to be creating a separate file a file we'll call it upload login this is where our login is going to be created dot js all right so and we are going to be, we, are, we are going to be taking all our file handlers or our file manipulators we we'll take it from here we will leave only the um, the submit the form submission submission handler we we'll leave it and let's just paste it here and oh uh, that is the is this the stuff again is this the plugin no that's not the plugin and uh, yes that's the plugin okay now what we are going to be doing is const we are, we are going to be creating an object here we are going to be using a uh, lot of ES six and i hope you you have a little idea just a little just a little of ES six here we are going to be using little of ES six here to so, const i will name our upload plugin follows a b uploader So it's going to be an object and yeah i'm going to be throwing all this stuff here inside it and just do it um that is not going to be confusing oh uh, uh, yeah i can copy it and do it here and we need to make a quick adjustment. And this is going back there because we, are, we do not need that here. This is just the, the client, this is a client um, stuff. This is just to beautify the choose button to make the, the button dynamic stuff. Oh, so, so, sorry about that. Let's, let's continue. And we need a constructor here. Is it a con constructor? It's not a constructor. Just ignore that. And it's going to be a function. Yeah, it's a constructor. And that's going to be an the init the init function inside the uh, PAB object or the CB uploader object inside our uploader object so it's going to contain this as shifts out key up so it's going to contain this so this is what it's going to contain and almost of last thing here is going is is the delete button listing now okay so this is it and we're getting an error because we need a comma here all right let's quick do another quick stuff here we need to replace this function we need to return it to because we are in an object we, uh, if, you, if we should use this it's going to return the window element as the this that that is window dot 
in this file from bucket and that's not and that does not exist so we need to use pab we need to call the object itself dots so we are calling the object and we are accessing this function all right so now everywhere this template bucket exists we need to change this to pab we need to add pab uploader at the back let us do this magic here okay so i need to come here and remove this all right because i've written some stuff before i don't want to be cracking my brain to 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 do them again to be forming the names for to be forming names for them again so i can delete this one okay so the, the max file size max upload upload the the maximum of file upload the main file upload the upload file counter then the file container i'm going to be doing that in a moment all right so the next thing we need we need to compose two required stuff from the from the developer what we need the first thing we need is the file container the file container that we are going to be appending the stuff to this file container so we need it and what again okay yeah that's what we that's the only thing we need and the the inputs the input elements this input element here yeah, we need it so we are going to be requiring it we are going to be requiring it here so we can change this to so we need to get some arguments some parameters from we need some parameters here so the parameter is going to this one is going to be uh, we are replacing this to Ags dot let's say uh, input does not exist yet input element or file input element so that it won't be confusing file input element all right can go back and now how do we call our our plugin now then, let's go to our own page we can come here and just and just see and just embed it here and just include it here that's upload plugin.js then it's going to be available in this script here now we can now call it const is given a variable uploader equal to pab uploader so to initialize our uploader just call uploader dot init adds so it's telling us that we need an argument so what type of argument we are going to be passing an object so the first one is the input element the file input element which is the which is this one here this team this one here id so we are going to be passing the css selector all right is this the only way we can we can um, call our uploader no we can use another we can use um es6 exports exports on pb uploader and to use it we are going to turn let's just comment this out i'm going to be turning this into a module 
type module. So we've turned it into a into a, into a module. If you are not um, if you are not familiar with ES6, you may you may find this one. You may have well, a little problem with this one. So we just import it. Import let's say import this from from upload plugin dot js let's just append your js to it so that there won't be any 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 conflict now let's call it it's going to it should provide it here uh, it's going to be available in our in our file so pab uploader is now available if I over over it, as you can see, you can see it here. So it's now available. So I can say import this as loader. Then I can do this here. Uploader. Uploader dot in it all right so then one more stuff we need to pass in is the container the file container the file container with a csx selector you can use the global one pab uploader dot this file container So PAB uploader dot file container equal to ags ags dot file container and this one we've not yet defined it yet. Um, okay, okay, okay. It's coming. It's going to be coming from the user, and this file container is going to be provided by the programmer here and. It's going to be a CSS selector of the container. This is where our um, the container is where our the file we selected is going to be showing. So that's an that's a class. That's a class. Okay. So that's that's done. Now. We are now done with that. Yeah. Should we test it out? Yes, let's test it out. Let's test that out at that juncture. And let's bring up our console in case we make we made uh we made an error choose file. Yeah, 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 yeah. It works, it works, it works, it works, it works, it works. Yeah, it works. And let's just put, put a test here that console dot info. I'm going to say PAB. Uploader PB uploader uploader has been initialized. Let us put congrats here. Uploader has been initialized. Okay, yeah. Let's just move on. Now, after that. After doing that, can we submit it? No, it's going to give us an error. Why? Because this um the template the the temporary file bucket is no more available here. 
and to do that we need to create one more stuff just take it there and take it inside up oh. um yeah yeah we are coming back to that in a moment we are taking it inside here i'm going to be handling it here so what are we going to call that what did i call it here? i called it package files no get files let's, let's name it get files it's going to be a constructor and let's do it here all right so this template file bucket is going to be control d dish on windows yeah so form data so the form data so we are going to be requiring a form yeah okay i hope you you, um, you get what i'm doing all right so this this is how to get the file um, the files and now we we'll go back here yeah, and create the form data equal to um uploader uploader dot get files now we need to pass in the form what's the form this that uh, is this element that was being that that, is, that was being submitted that has been submitted all right so now what next is still going to give us an error why because we need to return a form data after looking to it and after appending the the file there we need to put the form data there from that we need to return the form data return form data yeah it's now available there the form data is not available now let's test that out and before testing it let's go back to the directory the uploads directory and delete every files there every files that we've previously uploaded and upload fresh files i would like to take this one audio.mp3 okay now Let's upload it okay now uh, i can see this pab uploader congrats uploader has been initialized you see that upload plugin .js. upload i can see everything works fine yeah everything works fine yeah everything works fine and i see one bug here again this is supposed to remove it's supposed to remove it's supposed to remove to disappear after immediately uh, after appending this stuff say it's supposed to disappear and again this is supposed to clear it's supposed to clear after submitting the stuff and let me just quickly fix that one that's going to be I need to empty the container I'm, and i'm going to do it here immediately the, the stuff is done so it's going to empty it it's going to remove every element there and now in the bottom here it's going to append new files to it at the bottom of the for loop it's going to append new files to it all right so that's done and next stuff that we're going to do is what we we want to um, limit the file size the file size all right we can limit it now we are going to come here inside the for loop inside the for loop before and after after the raw file we check if let down we'll just let down uh, be there you can do this how to do this max file size equal to 
max file size that's coming from the use the user let me just call it user if if raw file raw file dot size is greater than pab uploader dot max file size that's going to be that's going to say it's just going to log it so that it's not going to um it's not going to interfere with the other other uploads other files it's, going to, it's not going to interfere with other files so i'll say file raw file dot name size of others name is too large max file size is raw file raw file dots uh, no 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 PAB loader dot max file size max file size maximum file size so then if we console dot log it it should not do anything it is still con it will still go on and upload and add it to the upload now all we are going to do is we are going to say skip it continue skip it and go to the next one if the next one too is higher skip it go to the next one see you the loop is done all right so the next thing we are going to do is max file size max file upload max file upload maximum number of upload that the user is permitted what other variable can I call it? Max file upload. Okay, let me just leave it like that. The maximum, I hope you just understand it. The maximum number of files that is allowed to be uploaded. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to be doing the testing here too. So, if, if, no, this is a reverse stuff. I will move this one. And yeah, this has to go into action. So it's going it's, it's going to come here. PAB uploader dot. So I will increment this with every with every loop looping. With every loop of the with every loop of the um, of the file I'm, I'm, I'm going to be implementing it um okay so the file counter to okay all right so the file counter I need to and do the file counter to here. Just for if I forget it, I need to undo it in the delete stuff. So after removing it here, after removing it, so I want to decrement the file counter by one. I'll decrement the file counter by, by one, and I should copy this and come come up here now if the file max upload oh I should do it this way if policy and um, policy uploader dot uploaded files counter is greater than is greater than 
is greater than the maximum file upload then it is just it is just go on and alert alert maximum file you are only allowed to upload upload pap loader dot max file upload files okay no it's not going to continue it's just stop stop the execution of the code return and return okay so the next thing we are going to do now is the mean file upload as it's the minimum file that we want user to upload that at least let's say for example let's say at least user must upload two files now where are we going to undo that? Sorry, we are going to undo that here. Get files. Look, yeah, yeah, it is the get files. We are going to undo it. If PAB, let me just do this. Upload that dot in file size is less than. If no, this is less than it's less than the the main file upload, then just alert alert please upload up to. PAB loader dot files. Okay. Else. And it's going to, after that, it's going to return false. I'm going to undo that in a moment. Else, if it is equal to. If it is equal, then just return from just return the form data. Okay, now we've undo that. Now the next thing to undo is declaring. As I put it here, declare the remove listing now. Everything is there. Now the last thing we need to do is reset. We need to be able to reset. The uploader okay now we are going to create it here set file now the first thing that we are going to reset let's reset this the the of um, uh, the file the file upload counter we are going to set it back to zero then the the file container File container. The oh yeah 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 yeah. The file container is PAB laptop. File container. We are going to be using jQuery to empty it. Dot empty. Okay, next thing then the last thing that we must do is to empty our temporary file buckets our temporary file buckets so pab dot temporary file bucket equal to this 
yeah now it should work well now now one more thing we need to do here is we need to say after when it is done with the request we need to call the uploader dot reset and that is not all we need to set all these variables all these variables all these ones the max file size the max upload files upload file then just copy it and paste it here let's copy it and paste it here okay so the max upload file size up, max file size is 1 million bytes mix 1 megabyte so I'm going to limit it to 1 megabyte that's the one um, okay, yeah that's complete then max file upload okay I want to be up and um, I want to limit it to 5 then Main file upload. I want to limit it to two or three. Okay, now let's go test it out. If there is no error, okay, let's just reload it. And so that it's not going to cause any confusion, let's go back here and delete all the files that we've uploaded. Um, let's try to upload more than five. This is seven files. Okay, say five is too large, it's too large, it's too large. Max file size is too large. Okay, because it's removed two files out of the seven files. Two files was removed from it. We didn't even, we haven't um, tested our our remove button let's test it and let's add more files let's add like four files and you can see you are only allowed to upload Oops. hold on you are only allowed to upload oh, oh, oh. this not a console.log okay then check the console okay alert okay so i made the, the same mistake here too all right okay let's now go back like i can see this worked and it's didn't upload more than five, five, five more than five files. Now let's test one one very important stuff. Let's test it again. I'm just going to test it with one file that are not that are not too big. Okay, let's test it with like eight files. It's going to remove the, the music. They are only allowed to upload five files. And you see, file music, file.mp3 is too, is too large. Max file size is one megabyte. And it is only five, uh, five files that was added. Now, let's try to add another file. Let's see if it is going to, to be added. Let's add just 21 file. You can see. I only allow to nothing and let's remove like two let's remove two files and add one file Oop. now this is what i want to address here all right so pab dot upload file counter minus equals equal to one 
Now let's see what happens here. Okay, it is adding plus one to it before it so should. It should do the addition here. Now let's do the testing again. I'm going to add more files. It's going to remove some files. Has no file upload. Okay, it's removing. It's adding six. I know the reason why. Because so I need to deduct one from here. Because the addition didn't take place before. The addition is taking place after. If I had minus one to it, it will fix it. All right, it has fixed it down. And the music file too was prevented from being uploaded. And okay, so what we are testing this and this and let's add one more one file all right it was added and let's add another file and this time around let's try to add two files okay file too large they are they are too large they are larger than um one megabytes let me add another file Okay, this time I want a picture. Let's add to this two. All right, you can only upload five files. You can see everything is working well. Now, let's try to upload it. We we'll click the upload. I can see the stuff was cleared. The input field, the the files, the 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 files, the file container was cleared. All right, and these are our file. You can do it again. Let's try to do it again. Let's add some files again. And let's add, let's add this file. Okay, let's add one more file. Okay, let's just upload it. You can see the files was added. The files was added. Everything was added. And if I'm going to make it look look well, because there's no space between the the top files and the and the files that that is at the bottom. So I'll just put this one. I'll just put and bootstrap margin bottom five okay so we are done with that so this is our upload plugin this is our upload plugin so you can add a lot of a lot of stuff to it we didn't do we didn't do we didn't added lots of stuff we can try to you can do this um, you can add this this file inputs uh, this file input elements by yourself dynamically from the upload plugin by yourself you can create it dynamically by yourself and add it by yourself instead of um, having the the user to add the file to create to create the to create the um, the file elements Give it an ID or a class and and provide it. You can create it by yourself dynamically, and you can also add. You can also check for a lot a lot of stuff like um five five file MIME type the the file types that are allowed. To, to to be uploaded like 
um, if you want only image image files to be uploaded if you want only um, if you want only if you want only PDFs to be uploaded you can you can even do that but I think okay let's do let's do it let's do it let's do it and I'm just going to require one more stuff that's that's going to be uh, let's give it a name let's say mime types file type but this is going to be an array it's going to be an array of let's say um, image image or everything and image and PDFs here you see video or audio for now and let's increase this to like 10 megabytes okay so you can do the testing five types five types this is going to be no this is going to be an array an empty array by default okay so this is five type five type all right, so we are going to be uh, doing the testing here immediately after or before the file size. We can we can do it here. If file type dot split file type dot split. Is okay. Dot contains of okay. Let me do some stuff here. Just want to check the stuff. Just want to check something. I do check. Um, I do check some. I I do use this for documentation at times. So what I want to do is includes. That's that, that's what I'm trying to remember. Dot includes. If it does not include this, if it does not include this dot speed, and I would like to split this one too. This is not a standard check. This is not a standard check. I'm just doing this check. Oh. Five times. If I wasn't I didn't prepare for this before so that that is one so if the whole file dot type dot speed type if it's not in the array dot speed okay let me just add uh, 
com os top aí. Okay, let me do it this way. This is a standard stuff because I'm not prepared for it, so I'm just going to show you. Five times is not allowed. Allowed. As JavaScript allowed five times are uh, dot five times dot join okay so con skip it and continue all right this uh, now we've checked for the five type now let's go check it out now the only thing we are allowed to upload is image files and audio files so. okay 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 what are these was if this stuff if the the file type is in the the allowed file types array you should do that but i want to check for if it is not in the it is not in the array all right so let's check that see file zip file for checking is zip file dot checking that's just the name of the file is oh, file type just ignore this is file type is not allowed allowed file types are audio or oh, puts a lot of space here then file type c plus plus but those pdf is not allowed allowed file types are image or audio audio everything everything image and audio let me try to add a music this music and, and picture all right it was added i can say it was added okay so that's that and one more last stuff that we can do is we can make all these things if they are required or not and just do an error here if the user did not supply if the user did not supply the file container you can do an error that and you prevent the init function from being run and if any of this one is composed it's required make it required and all the stuff you can you can have those stuff you can have a cool a more cool ui than this you can't a more cool ui ui than this you can add a drag and drop you can listen for a drag and drop event and all the stuff but this one i just did it for uh you'll be able to for you to be able to upload this plugin is for is for you to be able to upload files along with form along with along with form submission right so, so that's just one of the um basic use of this plugin all right this is the plugin i told you about about and if you are if you are finding it hard with um with the with this year six import here you can just you can just use this you can just use this um you can just include it here manually you can include this here manually and then it's going to be available for you here and just remove this const at the back here and just remove the exports at the back here that is is all fine and you can export it as default you can export it as default you can export it as default so 
So you just remove this and remove this. Alright, but all these things are not does not need. I'm not well versed with the default the default stuff, but I use it more in React JS. Alright, this is the uh, this is the stuff, this is the plugin, and you can use it in any you can use it in any project if it is mobile app and um, course platform mobile app on your website anywhere you can you can use this plugin anywhere all right so if you like this video please do subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to, to my youtube channel and if you don't like this video just give it a thumb down and tell me the reason why you don't like this video and if you like it give it a thumb up please subscribe to my youtube channel please it motivates me to do more all right thank you see you in the next tutorial